Hi everyone, this is Liz from Creative Life of Liz and I'm here just doing a quick project share. Um, my curling club is doing an auction and so I thought I would give a couple of note card sets, donate those to go into the auction. Um, so that's what I'm going to share today. I'm going to tag uh, slash link all of the um, what I used down below because I definitely can't remember. But I do know this is a navy um, cardstock that came from a recollections book. This is a recollections paper. This is the like main curling themed paper, which I got it Tuesday morning. I don't remember what brand it is. And then I also used the silver paper, um, which came out of, I think a die cuts with a view um, paper pack. But I made this little box. Um, I will also link the tutorial where I found it down below. Um, but I stuck a little bit of Velcro onto here um, so that it'll stay closed. I think it's a pretty cute box. And then I have inside, I just made um, these like note card size. This is from a Call Me Crafty Owl sheet load of cards uh, kit. I will link which one that one was from be below as well. Um, but used uh, the paper, same papers as on the outside. So I have three that look like this. And then I have three where curling is kind of like the more background kind of thing. Um, and then just envelopes to go with it. So I made this set, and then I also have this set, which is the same thing, um, using a different Recollections paper. Both of these blue papers came out of an old Recollections pad, um, but these three, and then three with the blue as the foreground. So that's what I what I have. Hopefully, um, people like them and um, bid on them. But that is all I really have to share today. So as always, please like and subscribe below if you haven't already. I appreciate it. It helps me out. Let me know if you've ever tried making these kind of like gifty, fancier boxes to hold the note cards that you're making. Um, I thought that was kind of fun and was definitely something new for me to do. Um, so that was exciting as well. Um, and then also follow me on Instagram at Creative Life of Liz to see bits and pieces of what's going on in my life. And I try to post things like like these cards, stuff like that. And until next time, bye.